in a GSL to the point where even Gary choked up and cried when he told his story. Mm -hmm. So uh, definitely a lot of people out there rooting for this guy as well. In the upper right, in the red, our first Zerg player. He is Sue. And the Tosis goes wild. <laughs> yeah. In the bottom left, in the blue, he is BL. Yay. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, the, these guys, it, both of them are kind of like sad stories, right? Because if you get that close to championships that many times right in a row and you never really can finish it off, you can't get those actual wins. These guys are wanting wins so badly. Uh, and while occasionally something will occur, like a Kespa Cup that, that Sue did and I'm taking down, uh, you know, that's, that, that's one of like seven times that he got to the finals. Yeah. One thing I want to point out right before uh, this game really picks up is that Sue has got the best link control in the in the business. You will not mm. see a guy who's better at maneuvering, who's better uh, at winning fights, and that really matters, especially in a ZBZ. Um, so much can be decided mm. right away by just a few small engagements, by managing to maneuver past whatever their uh, blockades are when you're going to try to scout them. So let's so, uh, uh, keep our eyes peeled for that. W well, would you say then that Sue's uh, Zergling control is Sue good? It's Sue good. you got to add a few more O's on there, okay. Artosis. But here's, here's some this. Some of those O's are question. capitalized. Some of them are lowercase. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, okay, so the second part of that question, Tosis. Yeah. yeah. Would you say that Biel's Zergling micro is Sue good? No, it's BL good for sure. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's so BL is what it is. Now, uh, these guys should be pretty evenly matched. BL uh, definitely has some very solid tactics as well we've seen in ZVZ. Uh, he knows how to get in there. He knows how to pick his fights. He's had been great with Ravagers in the past. Um, this is going to be a, a fun series to cast. You know, just yesterday we had a pretty crazy series on this. Uh, one of the games was on this map, and uh, it's kind of interesting to see how you know, the uh, more risky bases were utilized and in other cases not mm. utilized to win games. Yeah, those gold bases, it's really funny yeah. how those end up working out. They, they definitely do change the dynamic because of the amount of drones that you need to have there. Uh, but let's see what these guys want to go for. Both of them doing basically the the same type of strategy, going for the yeah. circling speed. It looks like Biel will get a slightly quicker third base going up. Will we see Sue go for that as well? Yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, if he doesn't go for it, that would tell us that he needs to uh, start attacking or setting up an attack very quickly here because obviously Biel is just going to get ahead. Sometimes though, we have players who take a third base and don't really use it so much yeah. to mine resources from as it is just an, adip uh, an additional production facility yeah. for a potential rush later on. I mean, that could be what he's doing here as well. That is a very quick third base, much quicker than Sue's actually. So he could just rally out of it. He's getting that failing nest, sometimes used defensively, sometimes offensively. But look at that. Who's Whoa. got the Zergling Micro now, Tasis? Okay, now Biel's Micro is so good. And does that make Sue's Micro Biel good? Uh, no. No. No, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if it works like that. Okay. I'm not totally sure. I have to get back to you on that one, Artosis. Okay. I'll, I'll be eagerly awaiting it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on, on a more serious note, I think really ZVZ is the only matchup where you can say that taking a third base doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a macro game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess there were periods where Protosses would like cancel on Nexus and do an all-in, but I don't, mm. that's not really something we see anymore, at least not at this level of play. No, certainly not. Now, a uh, big Puma Ling's actually coming out of Sue. He is putting the pressure here onto Bill. The Bane Ling's coming down and kind of chasing him away. Queen's coming over as well. And of course, a lot of Ling's coming up for Bill. So he should be able to hold on here, but Sue has taken the initiative. Okay, so Sue backing up just a little bit over here. Uh, when you're on this map specifically, it's really the burden of the defender to keep both the third base and the drone safe. Uh, obviously, it's very easy to access that area, especially um, you know when you're only relying on queens as the range units. But also, there's the option to go ahead and attack into the second as well. But hold up, we have more links coming down here, but it looks like Biel... Even the moment they engage each other, Biel would have won that without the threat of the bait lane. Yeah, he definitely would have. Yeah. Uh, I guess the queen snipe occurred, so Sue might be a little bit happy about that. Sure. Try to get those injects and creep spread down a little bit, but uh, definitely Biel has the superior army, but with five roaches about to pop out, Sue should be fine against these links. Yeah, Biel's roach warren is coming out a little bit later. Um, it looks like uh, he's definitely not ahead in drones, uh, however. Excuse me, um, he's actually slightly, Sue's slightly ahead in drones here. Um, but yeah, just delaying that Roach Warren, it's going to be uh, putting you in a pretty good place if you're going to have to defend. 
And now a Ravager being morphed right here, trying to save that Roach's life. The Lynx come down, trying to push him off to save this morphing Ravager. And in fact, it does finish up. And with Roaches coming down, he will keep that alive. So Sue really heavily transitioning now. I wonder if that was intentional where he morphed that, hugging the corner there. Yeah, I think that, so. Because that definitely worked out really well for him. It's, you know, a lot of times, StarCraft is a game of these big picture moves that allow you to come out um, on top, but sometimes it's just the little things like that that you can yeah. pick up on, and it really does change the entire course of a game. Totally. Like, he wants a Ravager, so if you're going to kill a Roach, may as well try to morph it and then bring units down to, uh, you know, make sure that it ends up living. And that's exactly what we see there, and that's one of the reasons why Sue is so good. He's such a fast player. He can make little moves like this. Uh, BL coming in now and does get the Queen assassination off, escaping with the majority of those Lings. Meanwhile, the Scout going in there uh, does see the timing of the layer. Over here for BL, he has... A lot of lings being made after these roaches, so we may see Biel try to push out here. A lot of times when you send those roaches across the map, uh, because the roaches have a little bit slower travel time, as we can see here, compared Ooh. to the lings. Oh my god, that's actually huge. Yeah. Um, they'll make lings behind the roaches so the lings can continue to reinforce. The lings function in the fight is to soak up most of the damage while the roaches deal it. Well, uh, Biel is moving out with quite a few roaches here. More roaches being made right now for Sue. He's getting that plus one attack, but that will not finish up for this battle. And it definitely looks like we have a, an army advantage here for Biel. Okay, the roaches are coming up right now. He's fighting in between the second and the third. If he does win this fight, he'll have access to the second and potentially the main. The Banelings now coming up. Uh, Ravagers in the back still dealing damage to Queen. Trying to be kited away here. Not going to be fast enough on uh, that lack of creep. Wow, some Biles coming down, and Sue does connect them, but Biol putting on the damage, putting on the hurt, killing off a lot of Queens and Roaches, and now even the drones have to be pulled for Sue. The drones are pulled, and then microed back over to mine a little bit more. It looks like the pressure for Biel. He is pressing the second base and doing it hard. The Lynx coming now to reinforce, separating the Ravagers from the defensive area there at the second base. This is a huge problem here for Sue. And just like you said, Tasis, he is rallying up countless Zerglings right now to try to break the back of Sue. If Sue can someone, somehow hold on, he can still be in really good shape because he has so many drones, but that's exactly why Bill is able to do this type of damage. Really nicely done over here. It's, he's actually hitting both places at once. This should be uh, GG. There it is, GG. BL taking game number one in a very convincing fashion. Yeah.